So for this video, I'm going to show you the difference between your cholinergic and your anti-cholinergic medications. So I'm going to use bethanicol and oxybutynin. So let's start with your cholinergic. So this is going to stimulate receptors in the smooth muscle of the bladder and GI tract, resulting in increased peristalsis that treats urinary retention resulting from a neurogenic bladder. So in other words, that means it's going to get things moving. It's going to increase the peristalsis. So your side effects, you want to remember wet. Anticholinergic, remember they are wet. So you're gonna have increased sweating, diaphoresis. You're gonna have diarrhea, bradycardia, urination, pinpoint pupils, and an increased tear production, which is lacrimation. And then we have the anticholinergic. So for oxybutynin, it inhibits bladder smooth muscle contraction and is used for an overactive bladder, which makes it an antispasmodic. So in other words, this is going to slow things down. And how I remember that is I remember anti, which is against. So anticholinergics are haters. They're trying to stop you and slow things down. So their side effects are dry, dry mouth, blurry vision, constipation, decreased sweating, drowsiness, sedation, hallucinations, tachycardia, difficulty urinating, decreased tear production, and dilated pupils. So again, you can remember that cholinergics, they get things moving, they are wet. So you're gonna have increased sweating, you're gonna be having diarrhea, urination, and your anticholinergics, they are haters. They slow you down. They slow down peristalsis. They slow down that smooth muscle in the bladder. And they're going to give you dry things. Dry mouth, blurry vision, constipation, um, a decreased tear production. So there you have it. Cholinergic versus anticholinergic. Wet to dry.